Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Battlefield Battle Gothic, Gothic Armada 2 Rise of the Necrons With me, Demonox. When we last left off, well, we had enough more Tyranian fleets and popping up, but we have also dest absolutely destroyed Chaos. They're down to the last sector, the last system here. It's a doozy. But, unless they reinforce something chronic on these ships, these two have more than enough firepower to get the job done. I've got this lot coming in from the north, I've got the orcs coming in from the south. I roughly reckon I need three turns to go over here and wipe the orcs out. And I will probably call one of these fleets over, ships over here too jump in on this system as well. Uh, over in Agrippinia, which is the only other system which actually got anything happening. I mean, I keep a ship fleet here just to keep an eye on it in case the Tyranids pop up. They're here, and I really, really, really want to blow them to smithereens. I should at some point actually put this get this thing upgraded and it would completely null and void this system save for story stuff they could never invade again in their life Agrippinia here is the only system which has a imperial presence because everyone else has been whooped I essentially need four I need four things to come here so I can uh, take the solar harness from this planet wipe out the Aldari from the system and um, get claim the last two planets give me a 30% bonus on resource generation and other than scripted story thing like this Tyranid are not doing much in the sector like at all these guys will 90% heal in their thing I'll probably move the free fleets to here, bolster it, get that defended. See, the thing is, I need at least to turn to get them to move from there to there. So, if I get an action battle plan or something to delay this one, then I can move them from one system to the other in time to destroy them, buy them out. Agrippinia has the a big shipyard. That's fantastic because when they get their full thing, they're going to. I can start looking at how much is Grand Cruisers? I mean, he's got a pair of cruisers, so wouldn't make sense to put give him one of his change one of his ships into a Grand Cruiser when the game decides to load up the screen. Yeah, so Scourge Grand Cruiser. They need more pips. Oh, four for them, or five for them. I mean, I got two systems. I think I can do them, but I can get his five. Then I can turn one of these ships into a Grand Cruiser. Give him a Grand Cruiser, which would massively bolster his defensive scores. But that's enough procrastinating. Oh yeah, I got this happening over here. I love the fact that's like, oh yeah, that's happening. Right, chaos, it's attacking. Really? Oh. That's nice. <laughs> that's all I needed. Chaos is attacking. Oh. That's nice. Yeah, many a thing is not happening in any of these systems. Two more turns for them. Scarus is the only place where things are happening. And that'll be Chaos reinforcing their ships. Yep. They're launching an attack. I would love to sit there and just take it, but... I kinda need them out the picture this turn. To be perfectly honest. I'd love to just do it, wait and let them attack and then attack back, but... Perfectly honest 
kind of want to get in here and take them out. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I forgot entirely that if you scroll out it does that. Uh, Skeletons has a plan that can be improved. Yeah, improve them. So they can get bigger ships here, but... they got one system, they got three systems... One... Twelve... Nine... Really? I mean... <sighs> really? It says that, but there's no... There's nobody else here. I'll have that then. Gets a chunk more resources. Uh, no, I'm not going to spend up on that one just yet, because I need to spend on other systems. Three turns on you. Three turns on you. On the tombs. Ah, they actually reduce resources production, so actually getting that upped is a good thing because that puts me more money on the, on the payroll. Right. You have to go here. Yeah, see if I can keep this fret meter down. for a turn or two, then I can potentially get... See, he's got plenty of turns for he can get his thing. They won't be here for three more turn for two more turns after this. Now, I'd love to sort of break them up. He's next turn, so that's when you've got to move. Uh, you know what? Yep, pay that, because this will give everyone's armor improvement. I'll try to give the truth back up there. Uh, Scarus. Now, normally I would love just sit here and wait for these guys to attack. Yeah, these guys got improved as fast as they could to knock out their things. Seriously, I would love to have that because unfortunately not available for my faction. So if we pay resistance down to zero, that would drop them to only six points. I'm not sure why they're even at seven to be honest. Probably goes for more resistance. Yeah. Okay, we'll get your renowned engine creation up. So that'll speed that up. I would love to sit here and let these guys run over and punch their head, smash their heads against me, but... Uh, I'm on a tight deadline here. I only got one battle plan. So, they're attacking next this turn. And then, let's see, from here, it's one, two... To get to here, f turn after next, but I need to... If I can get a battle plan or two here, that's great. Or even movement points, to be honest. So you can push them back up here. There's one. Because I need one. And then from there. Yeah, from there. One to there. Two puts me here. So I need a three turns, max. Oh, no, you're not attacking me, mate. I'm attacking you. You have, yes, 2,200 things, but you have a fleet that's only 300, and most of your fleets are actually only 600. 
And there is indeed a... Oh, yes. That gives me an action point for the fleet involved, and I can get back. I can move myself back a turn. Back. They, most of the defense points are here. So if you engage them and blow them up, even if they capture command point things, capture the point things, if you blow their fleets up, we're going to get a lot of points very quickly. Well, more than make up for the the fact that they'll have the command points already. Let's face it, they had a large squad of ships attacking. Oh no, for them this is devastatingly bad. It's not capture points, it's command, it's blow everything up. And since I leave the space station for last, every time. See, they can only, they have 2,200. They can only field 1,200. So their 2,200 is actually <clears throat> null and void because they don't have the command capacity to actually field that many ships. I, on the other hand, can field my whole fleet. And I can concentrate and blow them up. And if I kill a load of escorts... Okay, pink for you, pink for you, pink for you, pink for you. Them and them, they're just here. Um, they're not attacking us. What? They're not attacking us. They've gone away. They're moving away from us. Yes, because if I'm all the way over here, yes, they please. can't. These are pa This lot is a paperweight. They're effectively paperweights. They do nothing. They haven't got the range to attack. Oh, someone launched a fleet to attack me. Inferior vessel sighted. Yep, and they are literally clustered up in a big clump. Yeah, a lot of light cru escort light cruisers. I have waiting button to make it connect everybody. You know who one is. Now find out where the rest of them are. Um Yeah, so every one of them they destroy is like a good chunk of their portion. The fleet side, to be fairly honest. You're going to anti warrior body mode. You have some friends. And you guys go scarab mode. Dead. We're now repairing. And that's actually regenerated troops. Not sure why they haven't done it, but apparently they've regenerated them. That ship has been torn to shreds. It looks like being eaten by scarabs. Have some friends. Enemy vessel suffered critical damage. Oh, 
Spiders to me blown to bits. Engine damage. Weapon blown to pieces. Engine destroyed. <laughs> They're losing a lot of points on that ship alone. Everybody panic! Yeah, we just made fire that cruise. They'll be bringing in more guys now. Why are she ignoring the little guys, to be perfectly honest? Yeah, you're inside range. Your ship's being eaten to re to repair my ship. Yep, and that call to arms has just messed him up essentially because he's now hasn't got enough. When they do call to arms. They can't do much else. Well, flagship can get. And kaboom. There goes the number one. Yes, they have got more men. That's good for them, but. Uh, end of the day, my systems, are, my guys are all regenerating their health and regenerating their troops, their crews, if they're not attacked constantly, they will simply regenerate. Enemy so I think one of the fleets, I unfortunately can't pull the thing up to say which what fleet's done what so far. So that's, that's an unfortunate thing. Disengaging. Nope! <laughs> mm -mm. No, no, you're not disengaging, you're staying put, mate. You st you going nowhere. Gosh darn it, you going nowhere, dude. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. No, oh, it. Yeah, Star Pulse Wave isn't available yet. They try to attack. And they're thinking, oh god, they're coming for me now! Yeah, we have Star Pulse, so even if those are torpedo guys or troop attackers. Yeah. All power to motor units. Well, your target's no one there, dude. You're on the wrong side. Turn around! Turn around! Why? Because they're behind us! Hell. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, you know what? You can have that to reduce your capital loss at the moment. These guys are getting stomped. Well, there went another one. Uh, there's a little ship in there firing away. But. Yeah, their last. their whips. I can't see if the time do more damage. I mean, their gold whips deal 20 damage, but these things deal 30 damage each, and there's 10 of them. And he's dead. Okay, you can die off now. I mean, you're slow enough as it is. He's thinking, please don't come any closer. See, they are generally just restoring their troops and restoring their health. Blech. <laughs> that was a case of, hello, goodbye. And they like to do stealth. And 
do it a lot. Oh, you just lost all your shield in one shot, so... Yeah. They have particle laser whips, all of these laser whips, and they drag them closer. Retreat! Retreat to the ship! You know what? It was safer off the ship! Ah, see, I'm getting too close to that space station, so they're trying to get involved. And back in the firing range, and it did. That's the other capital flagship. Let's make them come to me to play. Your engine's now for your engine's offline again. I swear you do that a lot. Now see, they're gonna try and stay close to their fleet, their um thing over there to keep us from point from being able to play. I don't want that. I want them to come over here. Also, um, unfortunately for them, just being away from them will mean our health will restore, and all the damaged weapons that they've painstakingly gone through the effort of actually damaging and getting rid of are slowly recovering. Energy to recall essence. So we've essentially just healed ourselves back up. We've healed. So all the guys who had damaged guns and decks and ships and all that lot have restored themselves. Unfortunately you can't restore the full 100% health in the fight. That's just sad, but what can you do? I will see your Grand Cruiser and I will raise you a battleship. You can go over there. And I think we've actually tapped out their fleet. We ain't got any more lightning strikes though. Oh yes we do. Never mind. I use them more than these because I, they tend to stay in lightning range a lot. Well, that weapon went kapow. Prauva Vainglory. Well, they've just lost. Yeah, some of the macro batteries went kapushk. Well, man's battery still. I serve your glory. And we're telling the focus fire on their guns. Ooh, quick hit. Have some people. Have some more people. They um yeah. They've lost two of their macro batteries on this side. If you lose all your weapons on one side of the ship, that's it. You have got no guns on that side of the ship. Unlike the Unlike the Necron, who can regrow their weaponry and pull it back, once they lose guns, they lose guns. These guys do not have the option to restore their guns. Also, we have much higher critical boarding actions. He's doing a 180, try and turn around because he's lost his dual barrel lance cannons. He's down to one gun. Oh god, he's actually down to one gun. I think he actually lost all his guns on one side. <gasps> getting close, getting close, getting close, getting close. Get some ba get some action about boarding actions on there right now. I don't care who has them. Just 
get on there and get some boarding actions. Oh, no, we got no budge. No, no, no. Yes. They've lost the deck. Mutiny, so he's out. And that was the last of their ships, the fleet. They only have now got the little that where I can speak properly. Generators damage, so they lost no shields. We got the gun still. Never mind, they exploded. And now. We're coming for you. Big boy. They're sort of repairing the ship, or the crew, or just fixing it up in general. Ready to serve. But yeah, they just heal. Yes, it's a doing battering, but considering the guy had quite nearly double my fleet capacity, because I played smart and stayed away from here I reduced them by at least 500 points easy they'll all technically fire from back here but they'll as weapon guys will fire from back there anyway Close enough. He's a target, but they'll shoot anybody in they'll shoot anybody on that side, so only one ship actually has the ability to do lightning strikes. But he's the main target, but they'll hit anything between him and him. This is the one they don't have to worry about the most, because it's creeping up on them. Blip. There went their weapons. You know folks fire on the back guns, because um, everything else is ridiculous. It's not a point issue. So he's lost one of his heavy barrel lance cannons. These are the only things with a 100% with a 360 thing because they take this 90 degree iron side, but it's fine from all four sides. It has no back. Oh. But yeah, he was the most dangerous person and he's being pummeled into the ground. He now lost macro batteries. So technically speaking, one side no longer fires any guns. You know, like battery, 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 four sides. But when you destroy them, they like lose the ability to fire out one of the sides. It technically spins on the spot. But one of these sides will stop firing. There goes more guns. Launched. He's lost most of his guns. Three of them are no longer functioning, light critical damage, and he's exploded, so there's no point. In fact, it's just exploding, I actually think hurt everyone around him. So yeah, these guys are completely toast. These guys couldn't take a battle, a cruiser on the best of days. A single battleship could absolutely just... I guess she turned round. I think I can, directly, I can point which direction I want to go. Fire! Enemy <laughs> That's 
the difference if you use tactical thinking for this game. They may have had way more guys than me, but if you know what you're doing, and the strategy I've, I, I employ is when it's got a space station, is to take the fight away from the station. The AI technically should be trying to draw me to the space station so they can bring the, all the guns to bear, but if you fight your battle away from the space station, you can reduce their fleet the score by quite a bit. And that was well worth it. That extra battle plan. It may not seem like it, but it was worth it. Yeah, a little bad. But, you know. With that, chaos is... The demon world, it currently has two points of chaos on me, on it. But that's a bit of a meh thing, because quite frankly, it's not going to do much in the long run. They have to invade now. And do let's see. You know what? We should do that for this. And that's cost all my points. And next, I have nothing, nothing left in my P bank. But that has reduced chaos in the sector by one, and the orcs by one. I got two points. I can go one. So now I can go one, two. Get there in record in easy time. They've got thirteen hundred. I've got fifteen hundred or so in the defense on that on that system. That is going to be a null and void fleet. I now have more than enough turns to get there. We've got no two turns after this, so one. Two done. Kaput. And just to be on the safe side, I will probably move these two to here. And then we're just gonna get some we gotta get some blinking more battle plans. Cause I need to take him out. I take him out, this becomes a null. Nothing. Everyone gets minus two on the thing. Or should rather or more accurately I get I get one battle plan a turn. And that is the important thing. I get battle plan a turn, I can even make this threat level never move again, or I can make it so that fleets I don't like the look of stay in purgatory for as long as I fancy. It also means I can start looking at getting stuff like the Imperial Resistance here down to zero on the various systems, so he will drop, drop, and keep on dropping until um, there is nothing left. Yep, until there's nothing left of them. Yeah, you generate resources. Actually, no, you also increase. Yeah, you increase the re ship repair rate. Which is good. Chrome will get that up to full thing, and we're looking at a 120 a turn. Just from that planet alone. Yeah, this is why Imperial's still got a high thing, because there's about three or four planets with resistance on them. You have them? No. Mm. So yeah, they will do. Yeah, they'll be locked down to nothing. Imperial symbol. Again, I can knock that down to one, but I cannot make it into zero. On the plus side, however, I get this up to thing. So yay. 
And if I knock out the other resistance factions, that's why it's still six. Okay, well that is for next time. Not a lot happened in this video, but then again, it was a very um, heavy combat one. And a lot of talking. But that's fine. We are progressing this system nicely. If all everything goes to plan, I should remove the orcs soon. And when they're not a threat anymore in any system, it's a case of I can leave two fleets here to pummel out the uh, Eldari to remove them from the from the system, get my battle plan a turn, and with, with the orcs gone here, then I'm probably going to mosey on back to the Agrippinia to actually do the main quest stuff. Or help destroy the fortress. The uh, fortress there. And secure the system a bit more. I need eight battle plans. I've got two systems which with Aldari in it, and I need eight battle plans to remove them all. Agrippinia, get that one done. And I'm looking at a bread basket, and I'm looking at fleets by the droves. I can up all my fleets a nice thing and improve all my planets quite rapidly. Because it's expensive, and I don't generate a lot of money. But if I can get that system, I can then look at start upgrading various fleets to hold bigger ships. Bigger, nastier ships. Still looking for my Titan ship, though. Gotta be honest. Anyway, that's all for next time, so until then, until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya!